Since Thursday, Oregon Health Authority has monitored six reported cases of a very rare heart condition called myocarditis. All were in the Portland area, with patients from both Oregon and Washington who have received a COVID vaccine. We don't have a confirmed association with myocarditis. Dr. Monique Bohan is a pediatric cardiologist at OHSU who has seen some of the cases in adolescence. But she says this rare condition can affect kids regardless. That is actually a reassuring uh, point. And I think it's still safe to get the COVID vaccine. Nationally, the CDC noted cases have been predominantly seen among adolescents and young adults, more often in males, and four days after the shot. Myocarditis can be serious, but so far, local cases have all been mild. One may have symptoms of chest pain or shortness of breath, but we haven't um, noticed um, significant changes in heart function. Patients weren't needing any supplemental oxygen. They weren't needing blood pressure support. Dr. Paul Sieslak with Oregon Health Authority says tracking these cases is a precaution and that no evidence shows the vaccine caused them or that the numbers are out of the ordinary. It's worth recalling that COVID-19 itself has been associated with myocarditis. We have to ask ourselves, uh, is that worse than getting COVID-19. Some children react much more severely to the virus, even developing multi-system inflammatory syndrome, which can affect the heart and other organs. He says as the UK variant of the virus continues to circulate in Oregon, it's important for everyone who's eligible to get the vaccine. What would you say to someone who is hesitant and seeing a headline like this one? The only way I know how to reassure people is to be transparent about what we're seeing with hundreds of millions of doses having been given now, they're proving to be pretty darn safe. He says at least five of the six patients have been released from the hospital in good shape. People with chest pain should check with their doctor. I'm Galen Etlin for KGW News.